Hello. Did you know in the U.S. about 100 people drown in rip currents every year? Lifeguards in the U.S. rescue another 30,000 swimmers from rip currents each year. What are rip currents? Rip currents are a channelized of water flowing away from the shore at surf beaches. Rip currents typically form at breaks and sandbars and also near structures such as jetties and piers. Rip currents are commonly found on all surf beaches, including Great Lake, Lakes beaches. Why are rip currents so dangerous? Rip currents pull people away from shore. Rip current speeds can vary from moment to moment and can quickly increase to become dangerous to anyone in the surf. Rip currents can sweep even the strongest swimmer away from shore. Rip currents account for over 80% of rescues performed by surf beach lifeguards. What are clues that rip currents may be present? A narrow gap of darker, seemingly calmer water between areas breaking waves and white water. A channel of churning, choppy water. A difference in water color. A line foam seaweed or debris moving outward. How can I protect myself and my family from rip currents? Always swim in a protected area by lifeguards. Consult lifeguards before entering the water. Assume that rip currents are always present at surf beaches. Learn to swim in the surf and make sure your children can swim in the surf. Pool swimming is not the same as swimming at the beach. Here are two pictures showing rip currents and where they exist. As you can see in picture A, right here, the rip current is right here in the middle because all that water is being sucked. That white water is pushing outwards to sea. And then it's whooping right back around due to the waves coming in. And that is where it's the strongest right there, as shown in picture B. So, what if I'm caught in a rip current? Relax. Rip currents don't pull you under. Instead, they take you out to sea. Don't swim against the current. You may be able to escape by swimming out of the current in a direction following the shoreline or toward breaking waves, then at an angle toward the beach. You may be able to escape by floating or treading water if the current circulates back toward shore. If you feel you'll be unable to reach shore, Draw attention to yourself. If you need help, yell and wave for assistance. So, if anyone gets stuck in a rip current, what do you do? Get help from a lifeguard, of course. If a lifeguard is not present, call 911. Then try to direct the victim to swim following the shoreline to escape. If possible, throw the rip current victim something that floats. Never enter the water without a flotation device. Facts about rip currents. Rip currents do not pull people underwater. They pull people away from shore. Rip current speeds vary. Average speeds are 1 to 2 feet per second, but they have been measured as 8 feet per second faster than Olympic swimmer. Rip currents can be very narrow or more than 50 yards wide. Sometimes a rip current ends just beyond the line of breaking waves. However, others may continue to flow hundreds of yards offshore, depending on the size of the sandbar and where the waves break. Rip currents are sometimes mistakenly called undertow or rip tides, but these terms are not correct. Only the term rip current is technically correct. Safety tips. Know how to swim. Swim near a lifeguard. Never swim alone. If in doubt, go out. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my speech, and I hope you also learned something as well. I myself have been caught in plenty of rip currents and sometimes didn't know what to do, and it took me a longer time to learn. Um, so stay safe out there, and... Uh, all my information will be in the link down below in the description. Thank you. If you like the video, also smash the thumbs up.
and uh, peace out.